and melt. And then down here you have the, 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 the tips. So you always have two tips, guys. You have the modeling tip, and then you also have the support tip. Correct? So as you can see here, here's the difference between the modeling tip and the support tip. Uh, the main difference about them, as you can see, is the size. Uh, one of them is a little bit bigger, just to make sure that you know that that's the modeling tip. And then the other one is smaller, has a sharper angle. That is why it's a support tip. So you can actually see the differences. And of course, all this is, uh, you know, the filament is, is pushed using a step one motor that the machine controls. So once again, guys, showing you the different tips and what the difference between the tips is. So something that you have to be very careful now, because we're going to do some calibration, is you have, we always have to sometimes you're going to interchange, you're going to change the tips, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to be moving and attaching FDM tips from the FDM head. And by doing this, <clears throat> what you have to do, you have, you have, you're going to have to unscrew the tip using a tip wrench, which you guys see here. Right? And then you're going to place the FDM tip in the location where it can pull off. So it'll be brought to the front of the machine, which I'll be showing you guys how to do that really fast. Right? We can jog the tip to the front of the machine. And as a support, as you can see, well, it comes with a uh, support that you have to take out and then now the, the tips are exposed. What you have to make sure is that make sure that the tips are recommended uh, are at the current temperature that they're going to be taken out, guys, which is 270 and 260. Make sure that the tips are at the recommended modeling temperature before you do that. This is this this is also this is done to preserve the the, the threads on the tip. What's going on, guys, is that the tip is the tips are stainless steel and the head is made out of aluminum. So they have different expansions. So you have to make sure to do it with uh, with the temperatures right at the at the set temperature, so that way you won't damage the head. And always you have to wear uh, um, heat resistant goggles. Well, gloves, sorry, and avoid direct with direct contact in the skin because that's pretty hot. And also you have to be able to uh, to remove the O-ring in the tip. So as you see, here's the calibration. So now, once you remove that, like let's say that we already did it and placed it to the correct temperature, now we have to do a calibration. Uh, we have to do a tip-to-tip -tip calibration, guys, because what happens is uh, both we have to be able to calibrate the, this distance to this distance. Because when the machine uh, is building, or it changes from ABS to uh, to support material, it needs to figure out exactly the same uh, the same coordinate system. It has to have the same coordinate system so everything will match. Especially okay, so now we're going to do the tip to tip calibration. So we'll walk to the machine, right? And uh, like it says in the screen, we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to FDM status, which this is a program FDM status. And then from here, we're going to go to the calibration menu. So we hit this little calibration in the box. And then we check out the modeler that we're using, of course, is an FDM 3000. The model material is going to be an ABS P400. And the support material, we're going to be using P400 uh, uh, breakable support, or soluble, soluble, soluble release. Which, that's not true. <coughs> we're going to be using the P400 uh, release support, so it's going to be the breakaway. And we're going to be using a T16, uh, T16 tips. Okay? So when we select that, now it's getting uh, from the machine, it's getting its uh, calibration values. So it got it, as you can see, the offset values. And then here, we're just going to send it to the machine. So now we're sending a calibration job to the FDM 3000 and we wait. We're going to wait until the pause button uh, uh, appears. 
or starts flashing. And that same calendar machine that it's ready to go. So it usually doesn't take a long time. So now it's flashing and now we click in on it. And now the machine that's giving us a giving it the instructions to the machine to start. So the first thing that it does, guys, it does a uh, home uh, it finds home. As you can see the X stage found home, the Y stage found home. And now it goes, it goes to rest position, and now the Z state is going to find home, which is up here. So once that is done, it goes to the wait position, and you see here, uh, we open the door, and then we're going to set uh, the tip right on the phone, on the building phone. So using the jaw keys, you know, the X and Y, like using the rapid movement. doing right now, you guys can zoom in, I'm placing the, the build tip right on top of, right, very burning into the phone. And then we hit start. And now it's going to start building the, the caliber. Okay guys, now it's purging the support material. Uh, in this case, like I said before, is the breakaway. Finish building it. And it finishes. And I can open the door now. Click. So when we get it, you guys can. The white part is a little bit shifted. See, that's the build support material. And the bottom, so it's a little bit shifted in this direction. All right? So now we're going to have to move it a little bit more to that direction. So what we would do is we would move it by about, uh, let's say, five thousandths. You can use the calipers to do this, following the x minus direction. All right, and then we would send it to the machine. So once again, we wait. I make the modification of the shift. Now we wait, and then once again, the process will start. X, Y, and then I'll find the Z position, and I'll do the calibration. So you continue doing this until you get it perfectly right.